Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Argentina and Kaiserreich. We've just got 20 more divisions of lovely garrison forces. And I'm going to actually now, I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the garrison order that we just have here. And I'm going to put these guys where they need to be because everyone else is garbage. Uh, and the rest of them I will assign with these guys to an additional garrison section. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of all this crap, I'm going to put them in the way that I know they're going to need to be. Because the AI is so god-awful at understanding the importance of defense. And the fact that you need to have troops in the same place consistently, otherwise you're going to die. So, I'm going to just manually move them as I've done elsewise. Everybody everywhere else. Because otherwise, we're going to see some problems. Definitely going to try and defend the Panama Canal as well. Doesn't leave me with a lot of room. This is true. But it does mean that my bloody area gets defended. Which is really what I want. I just want to have defense. Ugh, alright. Good stuff. This army is piling on through. Sweeping up the north to wipe out those remnants and liberate the rest of the United Provinces of America. These guys here are going to now engage. And these guys here are going to... Sorry, you guys here. Okay, wipe out the Port of Spain, people, please. Good artillery! Nice. And that's going to make artillery a little bit better. And we can start to make some different division types. I think it'll be very fun. Alright. Take the Port of Spain. There we go. Okay. Boom. Oh, that was a cool little explosion just as it went there. Good. Okay. Everything is being contained, it looks like. Thank goodness. You can just engage them. Venezuela is now being naval invaded, and that is why I had those troops ready. Because look at that, they're already trying to naval invade me. Oh, I'm glad I had that ready. Okay. I'm going to have two divisions in each one. And that way I know it's all going to be safe. And I ha unfortunately have to do this for the AI area as well, because otherwise I will lose it. That's just a fact. <laughs> So if I can take Panama, actually no, because I have Panama, they actually shouldn't be able to invade me down here. They shouldn't be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll start getting mechanized as well. And we've taken Port of Spain, which is awesome. Come on, lads. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think we're going to need to change some of our divisions to their proper template. Uh, that's probably going to be a good shout. Yeah, let's get some of these guys. I, we're not going to need any Marines for now. So, first of all... Oh, these are Expeditionary Forces. Never mind. Sorry. There we go. You're going to change to the Senior Hilters. Beautiful. As up, oh, you are also not allowed here. That's fine. So back you go on the offense, lads. Yeah. Why do I have four here? There we go. Send them that way. Also, I'm going to assign them a crappy general, and the purpose of that general is he is going to then gain quite a bit of defense experience, which is quite nice. Good. That's it. Take Port of Spain. Sorry about the dog parking, once again. As ever. Alright, we did it. Uh, and once again, I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to turn them into Senor Hilters. I'm going to assign them to this. And they're going to stand in Port of Spain. Annoyingly, they just go. They, they, it like freaks out and tries to assume that I can't assign that many troops to them, 
Because it's only meant to be 24, because I haven't given a garrison order. I haven't given a garrison order, AI, because you're garbage at garrison orders, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Alright? That's why I've not done that. Sod. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to wipe out the small incursion that's there. We've now passed 12, and approaching 12 and a half million casualties on the enemy side, which is brilliant. Ah, it's wonderful. This is why you put troops to defend borders, guys. Got a little marine here. I'm going to assign him to the defense force. And we're going to transition him to the Senor Hilters. And that actually is all we need for the def defense of this. And we're going to turn these guys over as well. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. That's wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Put these guys in the defense force. In fact, it might make sense to actually put them all in the same defense army. And we've got a nice little kind of miscellaneous soldiers here and there. Ooh, look at that. They're attacking us. Good oh boy. Now, we do have quite a lot of forts. So what I'm going to want to do to make sure this never happens again is I'm going to build coastal forts. Two, in fact. So that this never bloody happens again. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Those are forts. All right, there we go. And now we will never be invaded again. Hopefully. Hopefully. I wish it were clearer exactly where ports are, but, you know, you do what you can do. Oh, we've done it. We've actually managed to completely and totally push them off the front. We're amazing, guys. How do we manage it? I don't know. But here we are, being amazing. Oof. Oh, we have, like, no convoys. All of our convoys have been destroyed. Yeah, never mind. Uh, turn that to convoys, please. Christ. Oh dear. And we're going to want to put the convoys at the very top. Okay. Nuclear bombs. There we go. Rocket engines next. Also, rocket engines gives rocket interceptor and guided missiles, but it also gets 5% for rocket artillery. And it just keeps going up. So there we go. Rocket engines. So, we have two react reactors built, and it's going to go 182 days. Exciting, guys. It's very exciting. We finally got the factory power to justify our country's worth. There we are. Easily done. That's it. We have now managed to obliterate them. We're going to store these guys in Santiago de Esteres. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to um, kind of move troops around a bit. That's the ideal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start transitioning these guys to just the Senor Hilters. If it's all possible. Because this frees up actually quite a lot of manpower, equipment, and just general usefulness. And right, there's signal companies. Nice. And what is the rebellions like? Oh, extravagantly problematic. Okay, that's an issue. So I'm going to need to train some horsey dudes, I think. Right now, our Senor Hilters have a suppression of 6. Our infantrys have a suppression of 10. If I were to take some Senor Hilters and duplicate them and make a division of um, Rebel Go Bye... Jesus. Rebel Go Bye Bye... Uh, and made them a garrison division. And turn these guys to horses. Instead. The suppression is made a lot better. As well as adding military police. And that makes some pretty decent divisions. We're going to train about... 12 rebel go bye-byes 
and get them over there. And we'll knock them out as soon as physically possible. And their suppression value will be insanely useful. Oh, look at that. A little invasion. Hello. Hello. Jerks. Alright, there we go. Engage, please. Oh, we've done it, though. We've actually managed to do this. It took a very long time, but we did it. We got factories. Got got a lot of things, guys. What I'd like to do now is I would like to prepare for an invasion into Mexico. Not saying we're necessarily going to invade Mexico, but I think it'd be nice to be prepared. I don't think there's any forts pretty much anywhere along this, because the AI doesn't build forts, because it's stupid. So instead we'll get scavenger. Equipment capture ratio is always nice. Oh, we've done it, guys. We've actually survived. That's incredible. Our population's still ticking up nicely. Um, we're probably going to touch a million. I'm probably going to end up recruiting another few hundred thousand infantry as well. Because what the next plan is while we defend our coasts is to attack into Mexico. And once we've attacked into Mexico, I think we should start to fight the Americans. Obviously, they have millions upon millions of pops. But if we can use our massive amounts of awesomeness to build planes and bombers and all that stuff, we should be able to annihilate the American Union state without an excessive amount of difficulty. We can only hope. So. Ah. <sighs> good all right we're gonna keep moving these guys okay it looks like they're not really able to push this that's okay uh naval agents in the, through the panama canal lots of people doing mean stuff to our faces what we're gonna do is i'm actually gonna move these guys here and once again units cannot change templates yes they can why are you being a jerk? I'm going to keep these guys as normal. These lot... I will turn to my senior hilters. Because they free up manpower. But I will keep the ones who are defending the towns to be normal divisions. Because those are the ones that are probably going to have the hardest jobs. They're going to be the ones who have to like actually fight. I would like to make sure that there are divisions that are able to withstand attacks quite easily. Oh, crap, we took a town. Oh, cool, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait, no, you actually need to go here. Yeah, I took Teresa. Nice. All right. Uh, once again, they have attacked, unfortunately. But the thing is that we can just withstand them quite easily. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Annoyingly, I can't justify um, thingy due to the fact that there is no world tension for some reason. Not really sure why there's no world tension, but there we go. Taking Mexico be a big bonus for us. They got they got a lot of pop, very few divisions, and an additional thirty factories, and it also gives us that beautiful border access into America that allows us to start that slog into the American Union state, baby. And once we push through the American Union state, then under Huey, oh, we'll destroy Huey Long, we push north into Canada. And once we've done that, the entirety of the Americas will be under our control. That will probably be the end of our game if the game doesn't end before then, because we're not going to be able to do much. I am still very much considering just uh, forcing a war between certain powers. Like, between the, like a three-way war, because it's a bit strange that no one's doing anything. I mean, what a World War II, eh? How dull. Whoa. I'm starting to think that maybe these guys should actually be a bit stronger. The thing's wrong. Whoops. They need to have the horsey symbol. Or some kind of horsey symbol. Uh, it can be a sparrow. I'm starting to think that these senior hilters are not as valuable as they could be. And that maybe 20 width is what we want. Because we do want... Well, a recon company could be good too. Oh crap, are we out of supply? We're almost completely out of support equipment. That's not good. Uh, our motorized is Jesus Christ. Did I, how many did I put on? 
Holy crap. Look at that. That's a lot of factories. That's a lot of factories, guys. My goodness. Oh, you know what we should be making? We should be making motorized. Yes. Motorized rocket artillery. And uh, towed rocket artillery. Let's get a few of those together, shall we? Yeah. We can turn off some of this. But unfortunately, our supplies are a problem. Because no one is delivering. Oh, we have no thingies. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's start to build some dockyards. Let's uh, let's get some dockyards together, shall we? No, not there. That's not actually my country. I know. Shocker. Doesn't actually belong to me. Alright. Uh, let's get the nukes finished first. Yeah, we'll get the nukes finished first, and then we will uh, work on the docks. That'll be good. Because we really need to get some convoys together, because we're getting seriously destroyed right now. It's not port, is it? No, it's not good. Alright. Whoa, yeah, I forgot. Um, go, go, go. What is with this support? Why am I losing so much? There's no attrition. There's no combat, really. That's just not on, is it? Very frustrating. One, you buggers. Keep my men alone. Hey, kid. Leave those kids alone. <laughs> okay, why are you... Oh, it's because they actually have marines. That's why. And those naval forts have not been constructed at all. No. Kind of need those to be the priority. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to focus on them. Crap. Okay. Um, let's get this little force up here to prepare for their eventual issues because I think we're going to get counter-invaded. These tanks are going to get there in 24 days. Oh, Jesus. That's a long time. Excuse me. Would you mind buggering off? I think we might, we might need to do this one first, though. There we go. Last rocket artillery. Good. Oh, cancel the Lendleys. How kind of you. Jerks. Special forces. Yeah, we'll go on them. Better towed rocket artillery. Let's go. My crap, we're out of steel. Oh, look at that. We got some convoys. There we are. Can I have some steel, please? Thank you. There we go. The Dutch are doing things, guys. There we go. Just gonna kind of deal with that. Phew. Hey, they survived. Good stuff. So I think we might need to try and put more division, more battalions in those divisions. Otherwise, we're gonna start. To oh no! Go 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 go! Go 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 go! Defend, defend, defend. Oh, good. They are refusing orders again. And walking very slowly. Great stuff. Still got a lot of bonus factories. Uh, what are we low on? Nothing. We're actually fine. And we have so much motorized that it doesn't really make sense to not go to mechanized. Which is a different thing. Where is Mechanized? Oh, I haven't researched Mechanized yet. That's why. It's just that I have recovered a few hundred of them. I very much would like to fight these guys now. So can I please do that? I'm going to need those extra tanks. Wait, hang on. Don't I have... Don't I have tanks somewhere? Just kind of sitting. 
I swear I was recruiting like 10 tank divisions. Where'd they go? Hey, there they are. Hello, tankaroonies. Good stuff. Well, we're never going to get that, so we'll move them separately. There we are. Take the Mexico. Good. That'll be fun. Oh my goodness, it's a big army. There we are. Get them! What are you doing? Why are you not killing them? Please kill them. Thank you. All right, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. It really does help out when you leave these likes and comments. Yeah, uh, it helps a great deal, and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching, guys. I was Algernon, I continue to be, and this has been Hearts of Fan 4 Argentina. Bye-bye.